I'm going slightly mad. I'm going slightly mad. Dogs don't wear pants. Hey guys, welcome to Billbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 2019 erotic black comedy Dogs Don't Wear Pants. Dogs Don't Wear Pants is about a recent widower who decides to, I don't know, initiate contact with the dominatrix in order to uh, heal the psychological and sexual wounds in his life, I suppose. I, I don't really know that much about it. Basically, I just... Uh, found a copy of it and thought that looks interesting it has a cool cover and uh yeah it premiered at can good enough i'd recently been watching videodrome and i decided why not take it up a notch videodrome explores the world of uh, the bdsm community kind of and uh i i'm always interested to see if films um are willing to take the step to portray bdsm in a sex positive light uh, usually it's uh, reserved for people with prurient interests and, and and those who have some sort of psychological baggage that propels them into the BDSM community. I'm sure there's going to be a little of that going on here, but I don't know. Let's see if it, it portrays that community in a sex-positive light. And please don't forget to click the like button if you enjoy these videos. It really helps me out. And if you're new here, um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So Shudder also distribution if this gets like a physical release, or is it strictly for digital distribution? I'd be interested to know. I think Shudder's owned by AMC as well. Interesting rough waters to navigate, obviously, in this year. Oh, I, I forgot to say this is a Finnish film, in case you were wondering. Oh no, it's going on. Oh, Jesus. Ah, that's no good. Not happy about this. Oh, no. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, drowning is not a way I want to go out. I'm, like, wondering now, also, if, uh, this... Because his wife drowned, if... When he initiates, um... Uh, uh, BDSM stuff, uh, if he, uh, will pursue, like, choking, and, um, I don't know the technical terms for these things, if, if he's gonna try and, like, try choking as a means of, of identifying with his wife. I don't know if choking and drowning would be considered in the same... A, like genre, but you know, suffocation. No breathing. A film by JP Valkyapa. Oh, he's gonna set up like a a, a, a a wife substitute, put out the dress, cover it with perfume, put a body pillow inside of it, snuggle right on up. Okay, so he took this in a slightly different direction than I had imagined. Still too much perfume, though. My name is Tyler Durden. Not Tyler Durden. My name is Lester Burnham. And within a year, I'll be dead. And in a way, I'm dead already. That's me masturbating in the shower. This will be the highlight of my day. It's all downhill from here. Okay, so it's been a couple of years. A lot of years. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he wasn't joking. Okay. He has kind of a, uh, a big bird quality to his acting. I mean, I'm partially because he's a tall dude, but... No, I don't hate it. Kids getting their fathers into BDSM. So the story goes. Oh, 
Literally on my confirmation email, it says come alone. And if they bring someone, they're gonna have to wait in the lobby. Even though it's one room, I'm like, I'm still trying to scare them, so they just come alone. Bring out the gimp. I don't know why I said that in my Bill Clinton voice. Oomps. Bango, bingo, bango. Well, this is the kind of meat cute that excites me. Is he going to see his wife again like he did when he was drowning? Is that why he enjoys this? Eh. This is a lot more talking than I'd be used to. I feel like I'd lose concentration. I'm really bad at multitasking. We're gonna have to find out who this like lackadaisical minimalist composer is. Some EDM fool who decided to give a shot at at composing. Somebody fancies themselves a John Cage. Okay, I I wouldn't love that. Going in barefoot thing. It seems like a an area where there'd be a lot of fluids to uh, consider. I like her get up a lot, though. That's a full on fucking look. So they don't they don't discuss limits or anything. It's a nice ass suit. The wonders of disposable income. Chip chop chip. What kind of phrase is that? What's that? He just got girl with a dragon tattooed. Wow. Dude. It'd be sexier if I didn't know he had like a pathology about this specific kink. This feels, um, I don't know, very clinical to me at this point. Like, oh, oh, I see. It's to um, regulate whether or not he's unconscious. Rosebud. Yeah, I'm like, I'm glad this is like healing him and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. So long as he'd like it, I don't know. So long as it's healing him and not like, you know, driving him to obsession over his dead wife.
All right, so he's he's feeling it a little. He's got a little jig to his step. He's gone a little bit uh, Ross Geller. It's like I brought a gift for you. I think part of what I like about like uh, you know like David Cronenberg interpretations of this kind of. Uh, these kind of interactions is they're usually like a reflection of like um, the like an interior want or I don't know there of a of a kind of like deeper uh, uh, whatever like a kind of like it it has a deeper meaning or representation of the character's interior psychology and I'm not saying that's not how it's happening here but. Uh, this seems like kind of very, very, very literal in terms of the dynamics of their of their exchange, and so I, I mean I like don't really have much to comment on, except that I think it's bad that he keeps trying to relive. If that's this is what's happening, that I think it's kind of bad that he's keeps trying to relive these last moments with his wife. See, that makes it difficult for me to, like, say whether this is, like, an enjoyable act or a um, an obsessive act. No, no, no. That's not like the best look, I gotta say. But if he's sleeping soundly. Yeah, at this point, I would say that I don't know if these sessions are healthy for him. Imagine baby thinking your first dom is going to fall in love with you. Oh, God. What a terrible, terrible cliche to try and sell people. Like, we also have no access into her mind and why she, it, like, enjoys this or wants this. So, I don't know. It feels a little bit like a, a bit like a one-sided narrative. Like, we have no clear idea of what what this is fulfilling in her. And why she would find sudden, like, erotic satisfaction and need in this particular client in a job that has otherwise seemed very kind of, uh, very kind of boilerplate and obligatory for her. Yeah, really, you need to go to your daughter's recital. You've been a bad dog. Sit, boo-boo, sit. Good dog. See, I I feel like this is like my 2020 brain talking, but I feel like if a dom saw that on the job, they'd immediately have questions or be a bit concerned. That seems like kind of unrestricted fluid. Okay, whatever. I guess she's just going to decide to piss on it. She's really going for it. Wow. Was this in an episode of Mad Men? What was this in? Is he the driver? Is he... Is he Ryan Gosling? This seems like the most depressing recital since Whiplash. I swear to God, we are never, ever, ever gonna watch another Dead Wife Christopher Nolan type movie. Please, no more Dead Wives. I would love... What happened? She's gonna get so sued off of this. But, uh, yeah, I would love to just not see more men obsessed with their dead wife narratives. It seems like, you know, it might be possible to build stories out of, you know, people having relationships with each other. 
as opposed to men having relationships with dead people? Are you sure about that? Seems like he's in a bad spot. Oh, I know where that song was used. It's in the Copa scene in Goodfellas. He was asking for it. It's like symbolism. The more his thumb rots away. The more his interior mind Again, it's like is lost. They rhyme. <laughs> I liked the little wave he gave to it. Just pull it out, man. Just pull it out. Ick. Ick. It's so that she can piss on people. Ugh. Ick. Ugh. I guess that's good for her skin, though. Though I'm not sure with how much makeup she puts on. Don't. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that waits outside of a strip club for... Yeah. Don't be that guy that waits outside of a strip club for the dancers to walk out. She looks good, though, man. She looks good. If you want to see a good uh, dude obsessing over his dead wife movie, um, you can watch Obsession by Brian De Palma. I won't say it's for everybody, but it is very good. Written by Paul Schrader. Classic movie about a dude obsessed with his dead wife. And the unbearable logical conclusion that that <laughs> extrapolates to. In a weird way, this movie has the same framework as like those 90s, like bad dad comedies, like Liar Liar and Hook. It's the, their stories of like dads whose obsession with their work apparently uh, precludes them from having uh, a healthy relationship with their children. So, like, what I'm saying is, I like to see this film re remade in America and starring Jim Carrey. I think that was one of the poorest rack focuses I've ever seen. <laughs> Please don't ever do this with your Dom. Please, please don't. I was originally upset that they didn't discuss limits for what she could do to him, but apparently they needed to discuss limits of what he would do with her. If this ends with her killing him, I don't know. I just find that so stupid. This is her job. She's not like expressing some kind of like deeper pathology in hurting people. <sighs> I like don't want to end this with her killing him, but I'm also like so over it that I'm just like, please kill him already. I don't think uh I don't think stockings would hold him down for that. But whatever. This has suddenly turned into old boy, I guess. Uh, 
Another great um, BDSM movie, The Piano Teacher. That one's really great. Really, 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 really great. You should check out The Piano Teacher. Wellness check. It's a cool reaction, I have to say. It does suck that they have to do this, like, IRL. I really, really, really thought this movie would be sexier than it is. More. More. I guess the dude was just too hardcore for her. What a feather in his cap. <laughs> the noob surpasses the teacher. Ugh. This is topic from the bottom. <laughs> so like just this whole movie but with Jim Carrey in this role I mean I feel like, if anything, the neck brace would be, like, more necessary in these kind of situations. I feel like you're more likely to put stress on or to hurt your neck. Is, at the last moment, this movie trying to pretend that it's been sexy this entire time? Is this, like, the end of, uh, Enter the Void when everybody is just, like, having sex in that hotel? And that was the real meaning the entire time? <laughs> This is cool, but like, why didn't they just make the entire movie this? Instead of a plotting drama about a dude obsessed with his dead wife. Because nothing, nothing in the rest of this movie suggested that somehow sex or sexual exploration or liberation was helping him process his wife's death. All of it was suggesting that he was careening down this hole of obsession and 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 arrested development so for for the ending to just blow up with this revelation of like oh no uh sexual liberation was actually helping him this entire time i'm like really it's weird that this is portraying him as like coming out of his shell in the end when the the BDSM sessions he had participated in up until this point had been him entering deeper and deeper into his own psychology and pathology. Him closing off from the world and obsessing over the past. And now it's just like, nope, it was actually the opposite the entire time. Is this the ending of Chasing Amy? God. Am I this guy at parties? Am I the dude who's cry dancing? At a party? I also hate this reveal that he also wasn't that tall. And throughout this entire movie, they've just been pairing him up with people who are much shorter than him. And then he enters into this sex party and suddenly he's like average, if not below average height. That's confusing. <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's definitely a movie. Whatever. It's got a good title. <laughs> that was Dogs Don't Wear Pants. Uh check it out if you want to. If you're if you're into that sort of thing, I guess.
yeah, it had interesting design flair to it. I wouldn't say it's very substantial. I, 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 it, it, I wouldn't say it was for me. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like button. It really uh, helps little channels like mine grow. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, until next time, keep watching good movies. Live your kinkiest life. She ain't gonna tie me Wait, down. Nah, hey. Oh, boy. Cause she ain't gonna tie me down. De uma alta. Ma. Yeah. Mãe, que são quente.